Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Southern Dirt. My name is Summer and today I'm going to be sharing a end of November garden tour that I shot in the evening along with some of our Black Friday deals. These are deals from some of my favorite products that I use and love in my garden and in my home. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. There's so many things that we are thankful for and blessed with here on our farm and garden from our health to eating from the garden and raising our own animals to the roof over our head and the fresh water that we drink. Those are the main things that we focus on. Of course, family, the simple things in life are what is the most important things in life. I know some of us, including myself, are always looking for bigger and better and wanting more, but I find the happiness comes from the simple things, the focusing on the things that a lot of people in the world do not have, like those things I've mentioned. So we have found our happiness and contentment in our simple things and our simple way of living. And I hope that I inspire you to get out there and grow your own food and raise your animals so you can experience those simple things in life to be thankful for as well. So our first Black Friday deal is the Greenstock Garden Tower that I have here. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for the beginner garden or seasoned gardener. You can plant 30 plants in this and it has a very easy watering system. Everything on their site is on sale. For instance, you can get this garden tower for only $109 using my promo code SD10 by using my affiliate link in the description below. Our next Black Friday deal is the Vago garden beds that I have here. I absolutely love them. They were super easy to put together. They have a 20 year warranty. Um, there's all kinds of great uh, information on these in the description below. You can go to my website and find out why I love these garden beds. Everything is on sale site wide. You can save up to 20%. You, all you have to do is use my affiliate link in the description below. My next Black Friday deal is you can get 10% off Organic Neptune's Harvest Fertilizer. This is my favorite fertilizer that I use in the garden and on all my little starter plants. It's perfect for any gardener. It's got all kinds of nutritional value and it's USDA organic, OMRI listed, so you know that you're using a safe product on your garden. That promo link will be in the description below. My next Black Friday deal will be on True Leaf Market's website. They are offering 15% off their gardening gift guide. I'll put that link in the description below. This is where I purchase all my sprouting seeds, microgreens, um, growing kits. I haven't even showed you guys the stuff that I grow in my house. Um, at one point I will show you that, but definitely check out their website and use my affiliate link in the description below. My next Black Friday deal is from Bella Blossomic. They have lots of different in-store promotions going on. This will definitely take your cooking to the next level. They have so many different flavors to choose from. These are just two of the bottles that I have that are large. They have all kinds of smaller ones. Um, peach and mango are two of my favorite Blossomics. You can definitely check those out. Um, all you have to do is use the promo code SD10 when going into their store. Um, or their website. I will put that in the description below. I thought I'd give you guys an evening tour for once. I usually do most of my tours in the morning or uh, early afternoon, but this evening was so beautiful. I thought I'd give you a walk through and show you the lights and the sun setting. So we'll start with this garden over here. I'm enjoying my Vago garden beds. They're working out really nice. They're growing lots of food. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of this lettuce here soon. We have basil that is growing really well. I used to kill basil all the time and then I found out that they like a lot of water. So I have their own designated little water spout um, watering them and they've just been, look at these leaves, <laughs> they're just crazy big. Over here we have some purple potted peas. We are hoping they will grow up to cover this ugliness here that we have on the side of the house. And here is my green stock garden. 
which is growing all kinds of beautiful peppers and herbs, flowers, succulents. Um, we've got some bok choy that I've put in here. I really love how the peppers and herbs are growing in here. Um, I actually just ordered two more and they arrived today. I bought them on the Black Friday sale. And I think I'm just going to put a ton of peppers in them because peppers are a perennial plant. If we can keep them alive through the summer, um, I think I'll be able to move them around and um, keep them alive better in this actual tower. Over here, I've got a couple of tomatoes, some teddy bear sunflowers, some Siberian kale, <laughs> squash, which I never can keep alive. And I'm definitely gonna pull these guys. I think what happened is I started this squash late and I kept them in the containers too long. Y'all, I can't grow squash <laughs> at all. So I'm gonna pull those out. They just got a little leggy and then got a little sick. I've got some celery growing here. I think I'm actually gonna replace um, these with celery. We've got some more lettuce and here's some carrots that I planted not too long ago. And I've got some onions growing right here. I've got a variety of different lettuces, kale, collard greens, pretty much everything that I'm growing in the garden. Here I have in my large garden. I'll take you over here. And here are my two green stalks that I just ordered. I ordered them in stone and they're on sale. And you can also save an additional $10 off with my promo code SD10. And over here, we've got sunflowers that are opening up the day before Thanksgiving. I did not plan this, but I need to look at my garden tags and see what time I planted them because it's perfect because all of our family comes over and we all just kind of come out here and hang out and we open the front doors and the back doors so people can kind of flow in and out. And I thought that would just be a nice touch. Y'all look at this. This is like literally in the past month just doubled in size and everything is just beautiful. I've got um, some dwarf kale right through here and I plugged in onions. I have eggplants right along here with some onions in the front. Look at how beautiful these sunflowers are. Sorry, I'm getting <laughs> off track, but look at that. How pretty those are. I want to grow more of these and save the seeds to um, offer to sell to you guys. I usually grow a ton of mammoths. Over here, I have some Siberian kale. Now, when I first started this kale, I wasn't too sure about it because it seemed very thin kale. But I've been coming out here actually and just taking a leaf off of each of these and just eating them raw. My kids do it all the time when they come and play on their playground right there. It's so awesome to see them do that. Um, sometimes if they're hungry before dinner, I'll just send them to the garden and say, you know what, you guys need to eat two leaves of whatever you want. Usually they'll pick some um, green beans as well over there. But it's so awesome to just uh, watch them come out here and eat straight from the garden. I enjoy it too. But these are actually pretty hardy. Um, when they first start off, they are kind of thin. And my daughter is <laughs> looking at the window at me. Um, but they do start to thicken up. Over here, I have some of my um, grape tomatoes that my neighbor always gifts me. And they are just now starting to flower. Let's see if you guys can see those flowers. Our blueberries are starting to give off their fall harvest here got some and it's hunting season <laughs> as you can hear we actually lost a couple of our blueberry bushes there I need to get them replaced look at how pretty this one is look at all those buds and flowers everywhere so in this row I have collard greens and now what I will not do next time is not plant my collard greens next to my kale because my rows, I have three feet rows and usually I just plant one row of something, which gives me plenty of space to work within. But since the pandemic hit, 
I'm doing double rows of everything and trying to maximize my space. I can certainly still walk through here and pick what I need to um, from the garden. I just don't have as much space. So probably what I'll do um, is not plant them right next to each other. But I have collard greens. I have two different varieties. These are called vates. I feel like they're a little bit more hardier than mm -hmm. the um, Georgia Southern here. So in a sense, those leaves are just a little bit thicker. I've tried them both. I've eaten them raw and I really can't tell a difference. So whenever I make any of my um, collard greens or kale, I'll mix them in um, if I don't have enough collard greens or if I don't have enough kale, I can always mix them and really nobody can tell the difference. So um, we'll actually be harvesting these for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Everybody will have the first harvest of our greens from the garden. Maybe I'll put a hyperlapse video together in this video if I can think of it. Look at how beautiful this is. So this one's kind of random in the middle. <laughs> I guess somehow I mislabeled one and put it in here, but look at how beautiful it's doing. <laughs> And look at how big these stalks are. I usually don't cook the stalks um, just because sometimes I don't have a whole lot of time to cook them down. Um, but I always feed them to the chickens. You can certainly eat them. These are um, blue dazzling kale. I did grow these last year. I've got these back here. We have some carrots. I have some kohlrabi and onions down here. In this row, I have some uh, peppers. They are sweet banana peppers, which are my favorite peppers. They are just now starting to flower. So you can see right down here, I do actually have one little pepper on this plant down there. And over here, I have some Kentucky pole beans, which I just did a nice harvest from. And over here, I have yard beans. As you can see, some of them are yellow. Those beans actually just grew way too fast. And instead of just picking them, because I knew they'd be really tough and taste a little different, because they have caught past the tenderness part of the green bean growing. So, what you're looking for is something like this but they grow so fast and all we had to do is leave one weekend and i missed that first harvest there but the good thing is is we'll just let them dry out and those will be our seeds for next year over on this side of the garden we have some kohlrabi it's doing really well I have been having some trouble uh, with the way the sun is hitting the garden because this tree is just growing really big. Um, but even though we don't have a lot of sun hitting this side of the garden, um, thankfully some of the things are still doing well. Here's my cucumbers. I've been waiting and waiting for a cucumber and finally I found one right here. There we go. I really think I had a couple pesky squirrels that were just coming around and stealing them um, because I've had a ton of flowers but no fruit. Finally, we've got some. Over here, I have some more kohlrabi. I just recently planted some broccoli over here. You can barely see it <laughs> next to all the weeds. I had some extra kale, so I put it over here. Um, we do have a seminal pumpkin growing along this fence right here. And there's one of our pumpkins and we just I keep training it along the side there. We do have some vines that are starting to come in here. But eventually, uh, originally I wanted it to grow up this arch here, but we decided to trim it back a bit. So we just kind of pulled it down and let it come this way. I do have some beets planted along here. It's really hard to see, but I just started those. I did have a problem with squirrels coming and digging up my seeds. So thankfully I had some that actually germinated here. I need to go through and 
thin them out. But most of the seeds did get pulled up. We've got some tomatoes down here. These are a special variety. I had one of my followers send me. They're a good variety for Florida. Can you see that? They're not a cherry and they're not a grape or a large tomato. They're just a medium sized tomato. I think this is about the size that they'll get here. And I'll tell you the name here in a second. But they seem to be doing really good. I planted these in August and they're called Money Maker. Do have a few sunflowers planted here. Right now I don't have anything in this area. I did put some more bok choy down here. I've got some bean, green beans planted along there. Um, I do have these little blocks here staged for my new green stock gardens that I bought in stone. I'm gonna put right there. And I think I'm gonna put some more sunflowers down. I have to show you guys, my husband's just hanging out in the garden. I thought he was taking a picture of my green beans over there, <laughs> but he's actually taking a picture of the deer that just came in back there. We've got five does back behind our garden right now. And here are some of my cabbage. So back here is all my random extra plants. That I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with. I have started some seeds over here. I have some cauliflower that we'll put in the garden soon, celery, um, some mammoth sunflowers. And I also have another, let's see, a, some more cauliflower so I staged those so we'd have a continuous harvest I have some more herbs that I propagated for our propagation class here's our strawberry baskets here's our little strawberry starting to flower And over here, this is our new little fairy garden for the kids. I went and purchased some extra succulents and allowed the girls to take some of their fairy garden stuff and just mix it in here. My daughters made a little pathway to their little farm area and their house. So this will be a project if I can get my husband to wheel this into his truck and enter it in the fair and we will enter it into the succulent garden section. So they're excited about that. So they have been pulling weeds and watering it, taking care of it, and of course, bringing their little baby dolls out here and playing in it. I also have some Shiote squash here. I attempted to grow this um, last year and it ended up dying along my fence line in the food forest. It got really hot over there so I figured I would put it into the garden. I've got another one here so then that way it's getting water continuously every day. And here is the other eggplant, my shooting stars eggplant that I um, transplanted and put in the pot. I wanted to show you guys some of my seminal pumpkins. That we've been harvesting. This is kind of your typical size, which is just perfect size for decorations, for uh, a serving of four people. Here's a nicer size one. We've got these all through the house. And here's some loofahs from the summer that I've yet to process. I will show a video of processing those soon and how we use them and making soap. Um, if that's a video you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. 
but here's some more. We actually harvested a couple of these early. See how they're a little bit of green, which is fine. They will eventually turn to this beautiful color. We have been working hard the last couple of days on trimming some of our trees, this being one of them, and our queen's wreath over there, and mulching our front gardens, getting ready to put in some kind of holiday um, plants here. I'm not sure yet what I figured I'd show you. And here's our first Christmas decoration. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys out to our pumpkin patch. And I'm just taking a little stroll like I do every evening if it's not in the golf cart. But we are gonna go check everything out. Our next big project this weekend is trimming our entire food forest. So we're gonna be trimming back all of these trees except for the ones that are flowering and fruiting, which is uh, our loquat here. As you can see, all the flowers. And I do, we do have a couple loquats. So we'll be trimming our mangoes, our guavas, all of our mulberries. We won't be trimming any of our citrus. Um, our Barbados cherry tree is pretty much, I believe, done for the season. We've got a few left on there. But other than that, here's our... I need to do this more often, guys. It's doing an evening tour. Let me know if you like these evening tours better than day tours. It's so peaceful out here. In the morning there's always birds chirping. In the evening I can just hear crickets. So here's our Seminole pumpkin patch here. Um, we do still have a lot of pumpkins in our patch. Wow, this one's really taken off this past week. These ones were planted about a month later than the ones up here. We did just recently have a tree fall down on our line and pumpkins. So we'll have to remove that this weekend as well. But these are doing really great. These are struggling, but they're still producing. Some of these are pretty much ready to pick. Um, they just have a tad of green on them. Oh boy. My. <laughs> Hopefully no pumpkins were damaged. We do have a few down there. And we have some over here. Look at how perfect that one is over there. I had one really, really big one. Oh yeah, this one. This is the guy. Look at how big he is. <laughs> I've been watching this guy grow from a baby and I knew that this one was just gonna be the biggest and most perfect one. So it'll probably be another month before it's ready. I hope we don't get any frosts. Ooh, I see a big one over here. That's perfect. That one's ready to pick. And that should do it for the evening tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this evening tour.